Do you utilize monday.com? Well, let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform workflows. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize monday.com and you also utilize our approval process within our workflows, let me show you how to easily get them integrated. I'm going to go ahead and use this very first form that I have ready to go for monday.com. Go ahead and edit this form. And as you can see, I have some very basic elements. We have name, email, phone number, and then a few other details from here, top middle, I'm going to choose settings. And on the left-hand side, we're going to choose workflows. Next, we're going to choose to create a workflow. And from here, we can see that it created a workflow for us from scratch. So if you would prefer to not start from scratch, you can always go up to the top to the workflow builder and choose a one step approval process, then choose your form. But let's go ahead and get this built out. I'm going to go ahead and choose an approval process to go right here. Then we'll have two emails, one for approval and one for denial. And we'll go ahead and get these connected approve and deny. And as you can see, as soon as I had those connected, the error message that was on the approval process went away. So now we can head over to our integrations and let's scroll down to monday.com and we can either create an item or we can create an update. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and create an item. I'm going to drag and drop it. So once something has been approved, we want it to add them into our Monday account. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this down here and we can complete our settings. Now, if this is your first time authenticating your monday.com account, you'll do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and add an action and we'll select our board. I'm gonna go ahead and do contacts and we'll do our primary contacts. And now we need to map our field. So right here we have our name in monday.com. I want it to pull the full name and we can continue adding down. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our phone number and our email and we can choose to select the update fields. I'm gonna go ahead and choose all of them for this one. Perfect. And we can also create a new record when a submission is edited. And we can go ahead and leave that checked for now. Let's go ahead and save. And now we need to close off or end our flow. We'll go ahead and get all of these connected. I'm gonna head up to publish. We'll open in a new tab and let's get this filled out. We're gonna do our good friend, John Smith, and we can submit. Now, as the approver, I'm going to receive an email from JotForm letting me know that I have an approval that needs to be approved or denied. But since I'm in JotForm, I'm just going to jump back over. We're currently in our workflow builder. We can go to our inbox and we can see right here we have John Smith. Our action is required. I can review all of his information and if it fits, we can go ahead and approve. And because we have that integration with Monday.com, it's going to let us know that integrations are running right here, waiting for the running integrations. And one thing I love about this is we could always jump over to monday.com and search for John Smith's information, but Jotform makes it super easy and it gives us a direct link to his contact card. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link and we're immediately taken to our contacts tab with John Smith's information over on the right. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate Jotform workflows with your monday.com account, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.